hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be installing the mteria os on the raspberry pi 3 so let's get started so first you have to open your browser and go to this page of course i'll leave the link in the description for you guys and you have to click try for free and you will be redirected to this page of plans you can choose your advanced plan or premium plan i'm just gonna go with the basic i'm gonna click on download and I'm going to download the Windows X64 because I have a Windows PC and that's gonna start and while that's downloading you have to insert your SD card I recommend a 32 gigabyte Sandisk class 10 SD card Where's that SD card slot? There we go. And now, I I just opened a program called SD Card Formatter. This is a nice tool for formatting your SD card to its original state when it was first bought. And I'm gonna select a drive, and if you want, you can name the, your drive after the format. I'm just gonna click format and click yes and it's gonna format SD card as you can see so now after the download is completed you can close Chrome and open the setup file click on next next and next again and I accept the license terms next again and finally click on install click on S and give the permissions that it needs And after it's finished installing just click on finish and then if you go to your start menu you will have the material installer right here so click on it click on yes and as you can see it's saying starting material installer and it's gonna open the material installer and it's gonna ask you to type in your password I'm just gonna do that and then you have to select your what do you say in on what device you want to install the mtv os so it's the raspberry pi 3 i'm gonna click on raspberry pi 3 and you can click continue and then select the drive of your sd card and just click flash as you can see it's saying warning this will erase all data on drive so make sure you create a backup on the sd card before you do this click on ok and it's gonna install the install the empty OS onto the SD card now all you have to do now is just wait obviously I'm gonna fast forward all these so yeah and as you can see it's done so all you have to do now is take the SD card of the, out of the computer put it in the Raspberry Pi 3 connect the Raspberry Pi 3 to power and your monitor or your TV using the HDMI port and then turn on the Raspberry Pi 3 and it's gonna start so the first time boot may take a lot, a lot of time so don't need to panic right there and so if you find this video helpful please share like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one